I'm living my dream job. I got about 20 former big leaguers right down left field line, getting ready to beat their ass tonight in our challenger game. Nobody has a better job than me. Uh, we never thought we'd have a group like you here. There will be fans that start lining up at four o'clock for this game. They are gonna be fired up. I mean, it's just a dream come true to have former major leaguers come in here and have a little fun and be willing to play our game of banana ball. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. Seven, eight. You got that, Jesse? Took you five years to do it in seven seconds. So goes three tries. <laughs> we exist to make baseball fun. That's where everything started. So banana ball was born. This is Banana Land. Jacksonville turned out in a big way. We played our first ever day game. When we rolled up to the field, there were people tailgating, like full on NFL spreads, grills going. Banana Sunday. The fans were at the stadium before we were at the stadium. Yes. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. On Sunday morning. Yeah, energy is high. Right now, as we're going into game nine, bananas three, four, and one, party animals four, three, and one. Party animals have a winning record right now, which is a first. So the big ass homer, I was washing my hands. I thought, you know, it would be an awesome idea if I had a huge butt. I had a pillow in my pants and somehow had a really good at bat, hit it over the fan wall, which have never even came close to hitting the fan wall at all. I don't really remember a lot running around the bases because I was laughing so hard. But yeah, it was just a spark of an idea right before the game. Ended up doing it, ended up looking great. Come on in, boys. The coffee's hot. We got big league team coming in today. Major League Player Alumni Association. And uh, just getting some BP balls ready for these guys. What we want to do is maybe map a vision of what happens so they can understand maybe a, a vision of the, yeah, the timeline. Yep, that sounds good. Perfect. I think they're here, guys. The color of the day? How are we doing? Yellow. Jesse. How are we doing? <laughs> good to see you. You awesome. as well. Nice to meet you, Jesse. How are we doing? Nice to meet you. 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 Nice you. guys. I know it was a lot to get here to be a part of this. Uh, we never thought we'd have a group like you here playing in our little old 1926 ballpark, but to have you guys here is pretty special. Uh, this ballpark, Babe Ruth played here, Hank Aaron played here, Lou Gehrig played here, Mickey Mantle played here, Jackie Robinson played here. A ton of history, but for some reason, baseball just never worked here. And we came in here with a goal to really change the game and make it as fun as possible. There's always been a barrier between the fans and the players, and we try to break down that barrier. This will not be a regular baseball game. You guys know that already. So it's really fast, action-packed. Similar to the game that you guys all grew up loving and thriving at with a spin. It's called Banana Ball. The main rules that we're going to be playing with tonight, every inning counts. And the last inning, every run is worth a point. Third rule, no stepping out. Don't step out of the batter's box. How long have you guys had that rule? Since we started. It's interesting that now they're implementing it in the major leagues. <laughs> the bananas have had an impact. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Johnny or Johnny, any uh, from you guys that you have played it, any other notes? I'd say, like, you know, on the competitive side, like, if a dude gets a hit off you or if the guy strikes you out, like, they're going to fucking celebrate, and it's not rubbing it in. Just grab your shit and go to the dugout and don't watch. <laughs> 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 Rusty Estrada. Ew. Only guy I can't get out. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Look at you. <laughs> really, dude? Yeah. You ready? Am I ready? You're pitching both sides. Both sides. Are you really? Yeah. Shit, yeah. It's all for you. <laughs> Bill, John Doherty, good to see you again, brother. Hello. How you been? Oh, I good to see you. Tiger. I know you're you Detroit yeah. Tiger. You doing know, well? I'm good. Oh, you're looking great. I died. I died right there. I, I just, right I just there. heard that last night. I'm glad that's not true. Why do they call it an? Uh, Episode. Cardiac arrest. I was never arrested. <laughs> Dead man walking. 
Former Red Sox pitcher Bill Space Van Lee suffered a medical emergency while warming up in the bullpen. While first responders tended to him, players were actually praying for Lee just feet away. So I wound up and I all of a sudden started getting lightheaded and I saw the lights were going out and I thought I went forward, but the evidence shows that I fell over backwards. My feet were here, my head. Matt Wolf ran out, took my pulse. Then all those 300 pound guys from the Thunderbolt Fire Department came out. Being a fireman, we're always working in teams. So that was the first time that I'd been on my own. Somebody I love. The Lord took care of Bill that day because there's EMTs and paramedics in the stands. And I remember getting in and raising my arm up. Not quite dead yet. <laughs> I'm a lucky guy. And it's the fact that there's no quit in me. Don Zimmer said I quit on the ball club in 78. And I did not quit. He quit on me. I did not quit on the team. Playing in the big leagues is a dream come true, but this is kind of like one of those other dream come trues because this is what baseball is all meant to be. It's about, you know, going out there and being a kid and all that. It's going to be fun. There's a song that you've never gone to three, three balls. I've not. In That's a year and a half. That's how many five still freaking throwing strikes. I just throw the ball right there with a little late movement. So oh, I'm trying to blow Tony Perez on your ass. Oh, I know. <laughs> All right, let's get started. We've got MLB team came in uh, this morning and practice got set up. These guys are fired up. Well, one note, guys, I know we'll talk more about this. You know, a lot of these guys, they can still play. I mean, they were they were peppering balls in BP, but they haven't played in a few years. And I think the pace of play is what we're going to have to continue to push, especially on our side. Um, but before we get into everything else, uh, Byro's got something to share with you guys. It's going to be really important, a big fan's first moment that we're going to have happen tonight. Eric Burns uh, was reached out by Jose Trevino, who's starting catch for the New York Yankees, and said that uh, he's been working with a teenager down in Texas. His name is JJ. JJ has terminal cancer, osteosarcoma, it's bone cancer. Uh, he found out late last year um, and has progressed. So he's um, working with Make a Wish and another foundation in Texas, they are sending him on the trip of all trips that everything that he wants to see. And his what he wanted to see were the New York Yankees play, the Boston Red Sox, and the Savannah Bananas. This is what it's all about. You have the opportunity to really, really make this kid happy who's been going through a lot um, over the past year and providing a little bit of uh, reprieve for his family as well. Hey, no way. No, JJ's about to come in. He's, our, uh, he's gonna be our player tonight. He doesn't know about this, though. He's also awesome okay. right Come on in. Come on in. Let's get in there. All right. Hey, guys. Are we going to win tonight? Yeah! Glad to be here. Yeah, not just today, but Monday, too, right? Yes, sir. We're wearing kilts on Monday. That's a rare thing to see. You know? Indeed. Even more rare is adding a player to the roster midseason. When we decided unanimously, we're gonna name you as one of our players. We got you to locker, right? Here. Yes, sir! Yes, sir. So you're gonna be right here with Captain Billy Roy. Yeah. You're, you're gonna get suited media. up, and you're gonna be in the dugout with us. This is awesome. I mean, last year we sat in the hospital during chemo, and I told him, some way, somehow, we're going to go to Savannah Bananas because he always wanted to. That was his thing. That means the world to us. It's a dream come true for him to do this. Yeah. one more present. No shot. That's awesome. Awesome. Grab that ball and throw it up. Yes, sir. Look better than an adult moaning right now. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? What's that shoe you wear? Uh, I love it. See, it says a fit. Last year, he um, did an entire year of chemotherapy and um, right leg amputation and double lung surgery. He's had a tough year. This is definitely what he needed. <laughs> 
No, you really swagged out tonight. <laughs> I'm never taking this jersey off. <laughs> I love it. Baseball's his thing. He's always loved baseball. Oh, right. So, yeah. To think that he's out here doing this now is just crazy. Oh, we're gonna show him a good time. He's gonna have, he's gonna have a blast. Never, never felt anything like this before. Now I gotta put it on all my social media. I'm a part of this event of bananas now. Yes, sir! Yeah. Let's get a W. I'll outrun every single one of them. They're, they're old now. <laughs> he wasn't expecting this. He's excited. He normally doesn't stand up that long. <laughs> This is insane. I can't believe I'm going to do this right now. Welcome in to the 2023 Banana Ball World Tour. It is game 10, and it's our first challenger of the year. The Major League Baseball Players Alumni Association gathering the best of the best. Like, there's so many World Series rings in that clubhouse. That's crazy. There's so many like Kansas City Royals jerseys, my favorite team ever in that clubhouse. We are just moments away from the most historic banana ball game in this young sports history. He's a three time all star! Yeah, the players, the former MLB guys, are fully bought in. I mean, it's just a dream come true to have former major leaguers come in here and have a little fun. It's going to be a tough task to get good lumber on Mr. Electric, Christian Deerman. And Deerman starts by striking out the side. It's lined to center field. It's big time trouble. Brian Barton digging for third. It is a triple for the two-year St. Louis Cardinal. Damon's ripped off the, the Kansas City jersey. He's got the bananas, BP top one. Damon knew I was a big Royals fan, so when he gave me his jersey, it absolutely blew my 12-year-old mind. Oh my God, Guthrie's backed up at second. Oh my God, that's a 100-foot pitch. He wanted the call, crow hop pitch. That looks all too familiar. Ready for a payoff pitch. Hey, ties him up. The MLB guys win the third inning, one nothing, tie the game at one point apiece. Heads up. JJ's gonna take off. He's had a pretty long day today, but he'll be back. Mr. Lee. Bands now coming to pitch. 76 years young. We've got Bill Lee coming in to pitch for us. He's gonna get one out with us. He's gonna go to that other dugout. He's gonna change into his Red Sox uniform. And then we're gonna bring Bill Lee in for those guys on the MLB team. So Bill's gonna come in to try and get the final out here. And he's got a big task ahead of him. Johnny Damon, the 18-year MLB vet. No fly zone, baby. Let's go, Bill. Bill with 10 years spent in Boston, a Red Sox Hall of Famer. That one chopped towards short. Brian Cox between the legs. Razzle dazzle across the diamond in time. And Bill does the job. Bill Lee back to back innings. What a legend. Dude is an absolute legend, boys. Is he not? Dude, an absolute legend. It's the first time I've ever seen a pitcher play for both teams in one game. In one inning. <laughs> oh, hey, whoa. Okay, don't go after Billy. No! <laughs> Rumble in Grayson Stadium, and Bill <laughs> looks like Pedro Martinez taking down Don Zimmer. What a bear <laughs> hug and a toss. Sure. That one to short. Descalzo behind the back. Nice. And Bill does the job. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. goodness. It is time for Dakota Stilts-Albritton. 
You have no idea how excited I am about this. Trying for his first walk-off in his illustrious career. This is his sixth at bat. 0 for 2 this year, 1 for 6 in his career. As that one's cranked yes! down the third yes! baseline, fair! Off Mike Morse, yes! who thought it was foul himself. Still walks it off! And the Bananas Still are going to walk the inning off. Dude, you got to be kidding me, dude. Are you serious right now? Dude, you've been killing it. That's an unbelievable moment, man. Walk it off. Walk it off! Chop to the left side. Jackson Olsen between the legs across the diamond. And the Bananas end up winning it 5-1. to one. The former major leaguers one man away from getting the tie run up to the dish. Thank you, guys, for coming. MLB guys were fully bought in. They exceeded all wildest expectations. Tonight is one of those nights where all those guys are going to go sing these praises of what Banana Land does and how special it is. And it's so cool. Like, those guys were bought in since this morning. They did the Hey Baby dance. They did the kick line. They played their butt off tonight. They did the 3 2 2. And then they were also out there in the plaza signing autographs for 45 minutes where, you know, they didn't have to do that. I think it was really cool for the XMLB guys to see how good of a baseball program it is and how good the players are. You know, this is actually helping the game grow. That's what it's all about. It's amazing when you have fun, what happens? It's fun to have fun. And they're they're over the other parts. Spreads to the fans. Uh, it's unbelievable because you can feel the energy. What a great opportunity. We got dominated by the bananas, but we're coming back again here to Savannah in September, so we'll see you all here. It was a lot of fun. I think we hit a new world record for an hour and a half. It was a blast. I had a good time. Fans are awesome. Hi, everybody's great. Today we are having a actual wedding on the field at halftime. This is a massive production with both teams, coaches, players, and obviously their families. And we will not be stopping the clock. It's just a little bit better of a story, and I think that our guys are up for the task.